70 years ago, Farmers Union made a promise to North Dakotans. It was a promise to always be there to help in bad times. It is a promise we have kept through Farmers Union Mutual Insurance Company since April 3, 1944. The idea of a mutual insurance company was born out of need, like cooperatives everywhere. The road that paved the way for the company in North Dakota was laid earlier in 1938 through sales of National Farmers Union Life Insurance. North Dakota's Farmers Union's board of directors at the time believed a successful insurance operation could be of service to members. It could also develop such much needed capital for NDFU programs. So a license to do business in North Dakota was applied for through the organization's new Farmers Union Service Association. Former NDFU President Ellen Bergman remarks. Farmers Union insurance is, is uh, an essential thing that people need. That's why we form the companies, because they need insurance. But uh, this, the good thing about it is there's profits made. They're going to use those profits to be an advocate for uh, the member. By the end of 1939, the Service Association had sold more than half a million dollars in life insurance through 17 insurance lodges in 14 counties. These lodges were organized in conjunction with Farmers Union local organizations and met monthly at the time of the local meeting. One of the most active lodges was in Steele County, where Arnold Snortland, a future Farmers Union Mutual Insurance General Manager, was in charge of sales. That same concept of selling insurance through local Farmers Union organizations was used in 1944 to build the Mutual Insurance Company. Our locals were a key in the development of Farmers Union insurances, recalled the late Gerhard Hoitzenreiter, Fumi's fifth general manager. We didn't start with a professionally trained agency staff, he said. Instead, the agency four started with everyday Farmers Union members who sold policies to their neighbors at local meetings. Licensing in those days was simple. It was mostly a matter of filling out the license application and having a good reputation. At its start, the company was capitalized through five-year loans from individuals, cooperatives, and county organizations. By the time the doors opened, Fumi had unencumbered surplus assets of $30,000, nearly three times the legal requirement. The product lines that were sold were chosen by FUSA, and Farmers Union members began buying various types of life insurance, automobile and property insurance, while at the same time building an economic foundation to support Farmers Union activities. Former NDFU President Robert Carlson explains. You know, you had a lot of loyalty from farmers out there and they needed insurance and they could have their own company, which should be good for them, a mutual company, which is a kind of a basically like a, the closest thing an insurance company can be to a cooperative, which we were certainly building like crazy in the 1940s, post-World War II, 1940s, lots of new co-ops, oil company co-ops. So, you know, a mutual insurance company kind of went hand in hand with that whole philosophy. The early days of the mutual company would soon prove to be rocky. Private agents and the aggressive Iowa Farmers Union Insurance Company were closely observing NDFU's new insurance company. Competition began to heat up between the two. At one point, Farmers Union members were warned to ask for identification cards from agents before buying insurance to make sure they were actually purchasing a North Dakota Farmers Union insurance product. Farmers Union agents in those days had little relationship with agents of old line companies. We remained apart from the industry and even publicly criticized North Dakota Insurance Commissioner Oscar Erickson for organizing agents to lobby against the inclusion of insurance under federal antitrust laws an obvious effort to undermine the new mutual company. Unfortunately, Fumi's growing success only brought more attacks from Erickson and other insurers in the state who were worried about Farmers Union's competition. When impeachment proceedings were eventually brought against Erickson, it was revealed that he was motivated to bring Fumi down by his own involvement in the Farmers Union Insurance Company of Iowa. Erickson had used illegal commissions to purchase stock in that company, hoping to earn controlling interest. The success of the North Dakota Mutual Insurance Company and NDFU's effort to distinguish between the two hurt the Iowa company's bottom line. Other battles were waged against the new company, including a concerted legislative attack in 1947 that was orchestrated by then Insurance Commissioner Otto Kruger to destroy Farmers Union affiliated insurances and cooperatives. Five legislative bills were introduced that year. The most obvious anti-Farmers Union bill would have provided for an automatic termination of an insurance company's license without cause at the will of the insurance commissioner. 
In fighting the legislation, Farmers Union was warned by opponents not to flood the Capitol with telegrams, letters, and telephone calls, and that legislators didn't want members crowding the halls and buttonholing them. The chairman of the Senate Judiciary Committee told NDFU President Glenn Talbot that if he dared to use such tactics, a full investigation of the Farmers Union Insurance Company would take place and the company would receive $1 million of bad publicity regardless of the facts. NDFU President Glenn Talbot responded with his now infamous black hand letter, telling members that war had been declared on the North Dakota Farmers Union. Members responded quickly. Between two and 400 farmers arrived daily at the legislature to lobby legislators on the anti-farmers union bills. The controversy would have been over basically farmers union influence in the state. And at that time, I can tell you, uh, farmers union was controversial. Why? Because we were building co-ops in all these towns and to some of the local businesses, it was really threatening. Throughout its history, Farmers Union Mutual Insurance Company has found strength in its general managers, some recognized only now by a picture on the wall. It is their dedication and commitment to the company that has allowed Farmers Union Mutual Company to grow and meet member needs. Equally important to the company have been the hundreds of behind the scenes employees, those who have delivered Farmers Union Mutual Insurance promise for 70 years. Over the decades, faces have changed, but employee dedication remains the same. They come back after they retire, and it's, it's so fun to watch people retire, and then they want to be here, even if it's just for 10 hours a week. And, and I mean, what a testament to the, to the company, to the people, to leadership in the past. NDFU President Mark Watney agrees. So I think when you have employees that are that committed, they really do pay attention. They don't just do their 5 to 8 or 8 to 5 work, and they, they come to work wanting to know more. And uh, so when they leave, you do lose some history. So it's really great having long-term employees with that history to be able to tell that to the new employees and hopefully continue to promote the organization. For any insurance company to succeed, it takes policyholders and agents. More than 100 Farmers Union insurance agents are the company's front line of business across the state. They are independent contractors licensed only to sell FUSA-approved product lines, mainly Farmers Union mutual insurance products. We're looking for someone that's assertive, outgoing, uh, confident in themselves, able to create conversation, uh, able to connect quickly with people, and uh, in the end, able to close a sale. You know, as Odin always said, he goes, nothing happens until a sale takes place, right? We don't have anything to do in our home office until somebody sells something. The tie to Farmers Union Insurance runs deep within policyholder families as well. Take the Schrieffer family of Golden Valley, where three generations have relied on the company to protect and serve them. By knowing this, the security you have by having an insurance company that'll stand behind you, so to speak, right. makes a lot of difference in what we do and what we, what we can do you know, on our everyday management over this operation. But I think you really find out what type of insurance you have when you have a claim. Right. I mean, that... that kind of and and we found that out and we like I said we're nothing but pleased with that. So. Through time Farmers Union Mutual Insurance Company has grown from a relatively small mutual carrier to a significant player in the North Dakota insurance industry. Continuous growth and loyal support from Farmers Union members has allowed the company to overcome challenges that were marked by large weather related losses, the purchase and sale of national Farmers Union insurance, and changes in technology. Historic company milestones have been achieved and anniversaries marked. Union Farmer headlines tell the story of those benchmarks. In 1969, Fumi hit $1.3 million in premiums on the company's 25th anniversary. Six years later, Fumi topped $3 million in premiums. In 1977, Fumi insured all 21 rural electric cooperatives in the state. By 1985, the company had earned AM Best A plus rating. Farmers Union Insurance was named the premier partner of the North Dakota High School Activities Association. Former general manager Odine Olson recalls. We were able to uh, become the premier partner of the North Dakota High School Activities Association, which fit in really well with the whole philosophy of Farmers Union Insurance. And in 2009, Fumi was 100 agents strong. 
The company's impressive milestones have been marked by the offering of new product lines and programs through the years. For example, the first crop hail insurance policy was sold in 1955. A $1 million liability umbrella on farm policies was offered in 1973. And a risk management and revenue assistance program for farmers was put in place in 1998. There were infamous agent sales incentives that included mile-high club trips and contests that even involved Lewis and Clark. We had a Lewis and Clark incentive and, uh, and the agents could win a Lewis and Clark uh, replica rifle. At the awards banquet we had Neil Ness and Dale Weber dress up as Lewis and Clark and they pulled a girl out of the bar to play Sakakawea. One of the most memorable incentives was the Hogger Contest back in 1974. Former Farmers Union Insurance agent Gary Murray of Beulah remembers. When we went to a convention in or agents meeting in Jamestown one time and he was giving away live pigs, some contest we had, you know, so you won the contest, nobody wanted to win it very badly because what are you going to do with a live pig when I'm in Jamestown and I'm from Beulah, you know. <laughs> and then there were the educational programs that included everything from fire and farm safety tips to loss prevention and risk management tools to defensive driving courses. Looking into the future, company leaders predict unprecedented growth around the Farmers Union brand. I think that the best days have just started. Um, we have a really unique opportunity. Um, we've built a lot of trust, and I think we can take that trust in a lot of places. Our opportunity is just great now, uh, maybe a little bit by accident because of the population enhancement here in the state of North Dakota, uh, but we are prepared and we are going to move this company forward, and uh, I think you're going to be surprised at everything we're going to do. Farmers Union Mutual Insurance Company has always been about people. The policyholders, employees behind the scenes, agents working in their communities. There is a human side to our Farmers Union, said the late Virgil Stedman, a pioneer Farmers Union Mutual Insurance agent on the 50th anniversary of the company. We have good agents and people that are interested in the cooperative movement. We ask if he thought back in 1944 that the insurance company would last 50 years. He said, no, I thought it would last forever. When you can see something happen, you see something terrible happen to somebody. Uh, it sounds odd, doesn't it? If their house burns down or they have some sort of loss. And in the end, everybody's done their job. The agent sold them the right coverage. The underwriters have underwritten it correctly. We've processed it properly. Claims went out and did their job. And in the end, you get a letter saying, thank you so much for everything you've done for us. That's when we sold the promise, that's when we delivered on the promise, and we've done our jobs. In the end, an insurance policy is just a promise. For 70 years, Farmers Union Mutual Insurance Company has kept that promise and will long into the future.